and that's not right, is it? So when I touch it on this side, it's there. So we want to just turn it around. That's better. So what do you do with the transducer needs to reflect what's on the screen, and then we're in business. It just means that what's to the right of you, like it's like looking at an X-ray, will be on the, that side of the screen. Yeah. And we start on the groin. And I've just sort of plonked it on at the groin crease, and I will be pushing on your fingers a bit there. And the first thing, I'm, I'm not even looking at what we're looking at or doing anything, I'm just checking that my focus zone is sitting all the way down there because well, I have been playing with the, with the previous group, okay? So the focus zone is down there and the head is probably a little bit too nice too. Okay, and I'll press my little button. So now I'm ready to go. Anatomy. So if that's on this side of the patient, then that's medial. So what have we got? Same artery nerve. nerve. Okay, we're all happy so about that. The, the pulsating artery. Yes, uh, how much of, I don't know how much of its artifact, but is the artery this entire thing? Yes. Okay, because it seems to me it's only that part's pulsating, the top part, not the oh, bottom. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyway, no, but, it is the yeah. entire thing. And without being too technical and going into artifacts, there is an artifact called which artifact. That's why we can't actually see, we can't see the that. Um, edge of the artery and that edge of the vein mm -hmm. because there's no nothing that's 90 degrees to my transducer there. I've got two vessel walls just going away. Get the okay, but that's an artifact. Well, it can't really pulsate to the back because there's muscles and bits behind it. So the movement it will reflect is yeah. on, on, to the anterior where it can. That's, that's really okay. why it's doing it. Okay? because things expand where they can. When you start to scan and you're putting it on and you can't work out, you can see the artery, but you can't see the vein anywhere, and you're thinking, oh, what's going on here? Is it full of thrombus? Is that why I can't see it? Then you get the patient to do a Valsalva, and Jasmine will just take a big breath in, bear down like you're in the toilet, big poo, look at that, and it just, just relax. Mm -hmm. And it just expands mm. like that, so that you will That's see really the. That's really scary the way that it went, right? <laughs> <laughs> so does it often go up to twice or three times? Oh yeah! Wow! It's just it's just such a giveaway. It's a wonderful tool that they sell. I think. Don't That's push when you're on the toilet next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we get back as well. It's not the bad yeah. does. They're so floppy and pliable. They're amazing yeah. things. They just expand and balloon out like that. Just with something silly as of ourselves. Anyway, mm -hmm. so that's how you find it if you can't find it. If, if by chance, when you put everyone's different in the groin, mm. if a per per person's got a big apron, you know, and you've lifted up the apron and you put the probe on and it falls down on your <laughs> arm and everything's compressed because of the weight, and you think, oh, I can't see anything, you know, that's where you start because they can do a really good valve cell. Mm. Get some drug on and press your arm. Anyway. So this is when we start our compression technique. We've identified we're in the right spot, artery, vein, nerve. Yeah, it doesn't matter where, the, where you start. You just start somewhere because we're going to go up and down as far as we can go. And that's what we do. And I can't go up much further than this actually because it's diving away from me. It's going deep. I haven't got anything to compress up against. All the pelvic contents in there. It's just all disappearing. So I'm going to go down. Going down. So what's happening here is that the long sac is diving into yes. the common femoral vein. So that's the, the junction that we really care about. If there's thrombus in the superficial veins and they extend to the junction, then you, that's when you start worrying about them. Up until then, I don't think you worry about them too much. But you do want to make sure that it's compressible at the junction, okay? Just talking anatomy, taking your eye off the vein. You can see the artery bifurcates there. You've got the superficial meat funding. Coming down a little bit further. And now the same thing is happening to the vein. Okay, I'm just going to use my water. Can you see how white it's all gotten? I'm just going to turn the gain down a little bit and I'm going to move my focus line down. So every person's different. But sometimes you do have to optimise your image as you're going through. And then all of a sudden you can see it blinking a bit better. And now we're losing it again. And this is just about how far I'll go in, or teach you to go with, with um, Jasmine. Everyone's different on the inside. But once you get down... So when, once when you're talking about these really fat patients, 
Yeah. You're sort of happy to get one each. The junction with the long saphenous. Yes. Yeah. Right. So just above uh, her ligament, she dives really deep, really quickly. That's probably as far as we can go in. So I'll get you to all get a feel for it. What I want you to feel is what force to use to compress completely, so you can so it's winking at you. It's not a slow, gradual compression. It can, but it's just going to be there all day. And also, you're not really, well, I'm not really sure if I do it slowly, whether I just squish something out of the way that I didn't want to squish out of the way. Huh? Um, that winking, you know, firm compression, but fast. And don't spend too much time stopping and looking and thinking, oh, where am I? Which is what? Which is what? When you do that, it all becomes clear what's going on.